A plane travels due east for 15 miles from point A. So the first time the plane travels is going to be due east. Remember, east is towards the right. And that's going to be for 15 miles. So you want to make sure they make a horizontal line. And it's going to be 15 miles. Now you want to make sure that your drawing is big enough. If you want to do your drawing in a separate piece of paper, that way you can easier see the angles and the triangles, you can. Just make sure you staple it. The plane then travels for seven miles at bearing of 142. So this is where it started, this is point A. And after here, since it travels at bearing of 142, you want to place your X and Y axis. So I'm not going to create a dash Y axis and my X axis gonna continue being dash because you want to be able to rotate from the north whenever it's a bearing you want to go from the north towards the right that is 90 and I need 142 so that'll be 120 130 I divide this in three sections by placing two dashes each one's 30 so I'll be 90 plus 30 is 120 and if I go through here, it's 150, so I'm just going to go a little bit before him. And this is 15 miles, and you are going to travel for 7 more miles. So you want to make sure that you make an accurate sketch. So that way it will be about half, maybe a bit more. And this will be 7 miles. This angle here, from here all the way around, will be 142 degrees. And now it want to far how far is the plane from the point A? So you want to find this side here. And that'll be X. Now you want to be able to find an angle. Now remember that there's going to be right triangles that are going to help you find the angle. So this will be a right triangle. So therefore this is 142 and this angle here is going to be 52 degrees, right? This is 90 and this is 52. So from there we can actually find this measurement here. So I know that this is 180 and minus 52 will give you 128. And there's actually different ways of being able to find this angle. Some people say, well, this is 90, and if this is 42, this has to be 38, plus the 90 is 128. So either way, it's fine. So now that I know that this is 128, I can use the law of cosines. Remember, for the law of cosines, you need two, uh, two sides and the angle in between. So therefore, x squared, that's what I'm looking for, is equal to one side, 15 square, plus seven square, minus two, I'm gonna repeat the 15 and the seven, and the cosine of the angle in between, which is 128 degrees. And since there are no variables, I can go ahead and type it in all at uh, once. Uh, 15 square, and in this case, I'm just gonna use um, my pad in here, plus seven, square minus 2 times 15 times 7 and multiply by the cosine make sure that you have it on degrees in this case I do have it on degrees multiply by the cosine of 128 and that'll be 4 3 so x squared is equal to 4 3 I'm gonna keep that in the calculator I'm just gonna take the square root of my answer square root of my answer so therefore x is equal to 20.08 I'm just gonna run that up to 20 miles since there are no decimal places so therefore the, air, the plane is 20 miles away from its desi destination 